Today's video, we get armored up as we have a look at the Hasbro Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is Penny Parker and the SPDR. Penny Parker suits up in an impressive set of armor to become the web-powered hero known as SPDR. Let's go ahead and measure these off with the Ultra Measuretron 5000. You joke, that's what it's actually called. And stopping right to the top of its head, the SPDR stands at a very impressive 9.5 inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be 24.1. Uh, 24.1. Let's figure out how tall, switching it back over to two inches. There we go. Let's figure out how tall Penny Parker is. I'm sure it takes no deducing on your part to, to know that Penny Park is a little bit smaller. And the Measuretron tells us that the figure stands 3.1 inches in height, much smaller than the SPDR. And working that to centimeters, the figure stands 7.8. Now, suppose you tell me, well, that doesn't help. I don't know how tall that is. I need some size comparisons. No problem, no problemo, dude. I can go ahead and bring some other figures in from the Into the Spider-Verse. There's Spider-Man, Miles Morales. We can put him right there. And even for giggles, let's bring in Prowler. Oh, Marvel's Prowler to show you how tall all the figures stand. Penny Parker is clearly smallest. She's about half the size of Miles, but almost two thirds the size maybe a third, I guess a third would be more accurate of a read for Peter Parker, and she's about the same for uh, the Prowler, Marvel's Prowler, excuse me, sorry sir, Marvel's Prowler. And then SPDR is almost a half a figure, if not almost double the length of even Peter Parker, or even like Miles Morales. You can see it looks, it's almost like two figures high, and that's a pretty big looking action figure course I say action figures there's not really a whole lot of action happening with this figure but we'll talk about that in a second by the way let me just stop for a second and thank viewer bill for making this review possible if anybody's new to this channel think who's viewer bill is he a celebrity hey you might as well be uh, bill was nice enough to send this set my way so we're gonna be looking at it thanks to bill thanks bill so first we we will have a look at penny parker and once again for a size comparison I know we just did it but there she is yeah but what was that, like half, half the height? Half the height of Miles Morales? She's very small. She's very small, and sadly, she doesn't have much in the way of posability. I guess we can even just go through that right now. Uh, the head doesn't, well, it does have a ball joint. The shoulders swivel, and that's about all you're really gonna be getting. That's, that's it. So ball joint, swivel, nothing. Squat for the rest of it. She's sort of more like a little staction figure. You can kind of always have her in a running pose, but she really doesn't do that much else other than that. There's something I really want to touch base on. I'm going to hold the phone and not talk about it just yet, but I have to remind myself, make a little mental note. Okay, got it. It'd be funny if I forgot it. If I forgot it, it wouldn't even matter because you guys wouldn't even know what the mental note was. Ha, that's the benefit of not mentioning it aloud. So anyways, let's have a look at Penny Parker. Uh, she looks to be in her school uniform here, a school uniform that is consisting of a black V-neck sweater with red trim, black socks also with red trim, black shoes, and a somewhat gray skirt. She also has a slight lighter shade of gray for a short sleeved collared shirt and she is also wearing a backpack. No, the backpack is not removable, you silly gents. There's no way that would be removable. I mean, she, she's not a bad figure for what she is. Clearly the draw is not necessarily Penny, but it's more so that. And my mental note is still there. Just, yeah, okay, it's still there. Uh, obviously that's the draw. She's sort of just kind of an, an accompanying almost accessory of, an, of a figure. Her face sculpt is pretty good. She's got a nice smiling face. Very short on the bangs though. I don't, I don't know who's cut that hair, but someone who clearly doesn't know that bangs should not be that short. 
Don't ever make the mistake of cutting short bangs like that. She's got some nice layered hair, so there's something there. I would really actually be very disappointed. I would run up the stairs stomping my feet, slamming my bedroom door, if uh, she had absolutely no posability. Luckily she does, but again, it's very little. That's, I mean, you can always have her kind of in a running pose. Gotta go! So there's Penny Parker. Not, again, really much to be said for. I was surprised to find that the figure literally was able to stand. I could say literally because that's what I'm talking about. It's not like a thousand firefighters. What are we all doing here? Who needs a thousand firefighters? That's a Dane Cook joke. So again, like the draw is not necessarily for her, but I'm glad the fact that she does get some posability and she does have the means to stand. The draw is this. This is the SPDR, which does come with an accessory right there. It's a missile, didn't mean to surprise you. That's a little firing missile launcher that's right here, kind of in the inside of its hand. I don't know how it's supposed to be angled. Based on the packaging, it's sort of as if it's handing you a missile. Here, sir, take this. Well, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable grabbing a live missile. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Here, take this missile. <laughs> Uh, you can rotate the arm, but it doesn't seem like it's supposed to go any sort of way. I feel almost as if it was supposed to be over here, and then the hand was supposed to be twisted this way. Now, there is hand posability, but when I'm twisting it, I almost feel like, you know, when s that little voice inside your head starts talking to you? Yeah, that's your conscience. It could be also the fact that you're schizophrenic, but if you have that little voice inside of you saying, you really should stop this right now, turning this... I feel personally, and you can do whatever really you want, but turning this too much, I feel like you're gonna break that hand. That little voice inside of me told me that, so I'm gonna say, you know what, you're right, inner voice. I'm not gonna turn. Even what I think is the correct way to do it, the hand should be facing inward. I feel like this should be on the side, but according to the packaging, he's supposed to be handing you the missile. Take this, it's yours. Um, it does have a firing mechanism, so the little firing button is on the top. I'm just gonna put my hand in the front of it so I don't destroy the $75,000 backdrop. There we go. It does propel, you'll have to take my word for it, a considerable distance across the room, hitting whatever animal would be unfortunately walking into the kitchen as the poor missile has plugged him right in the face, or poor animal for getting plugged in the face. Looking at the SPDR, I keep wanting to call it Spider, but I mean, there's no I, it's basically like SP, DR, it would be the slashes, forward slash, forward slash, DR. Looking at it, it looks impressive, but then when you get closer looking at it, you know, with your perception, I guess perception is understanding something, reality is, okay, looking at it with your vision, your eyes, it looks like it should be a lot more posable than what it is, and I have to be the bearer of bad news here. There's really not a whole lot of posability to be had with the SPDR. It has posability. I mean, I'm sort of just talking about it now. Posability in the arms. Posability in the arms. Hands. Hands. And then technically forearms. I don't know why the forearms need to rotate. Uh, nothing, it seems, in the waist. Even though I feel like I want to force the waist. That's, again, the little voice inside of me saying, don't do that, buddy. You're going to break that on camera, and it, people are going to laugh at you. The legs move forward and back, but I mean, really moving the forward and back on the legs guarantees you that this figure isn't gonna stand properly. It's just gonna fall over. It's gonna look like a mess. It's gonna look like it's spent all night up and the next day it's gone to work and it's just an absolute mess. So when you look at it, it looks like there should be a hinge right there on the elbow. No way, there isn't. And it looks like there should be a hinge right there where the knee is. Huh, no, there isn't. No, what you're essentially getting is a figure that has posability in the arms, in the shoulder areas, swiveling on the forearms, that's my gesture for swiveling forearms, swiveled hands, even though this one says no dough, no, no dice, no dice, and then the legs move back and forth. It sadly doesn't have any head posability. I guess it really looks as if it doesn't have head posability, so I can't necessarily cry foul for that. But my biggest problem with this is the fact that even like the packaging says, suits up in an impressive set of armor to become the web-powered hero, SPDR. Penny nowhere can be placed inside the figure. Looking at it, I mean, obviously looking at it, it doesn't look like there's anything that should open on it. 
uh, even like looking and thinking for a second, oh no, I've missed this. This this is clearly something where somebody's gonna say to me, oh look, you just have to open it on the side and then that's how she goes into it. No, no, unfortunately not. There's nothing on this can, that can open up where Penny, little Penny Parker can fit inside. You're sort of teased by, here she is, here is the suit of armor. She suits up. I, I, I can't even quote this enough. She suits up in the SPR, which doesn't really require quotes for that. But there's nothing about the toy where you can actually suit up. There, I'm throwing out those quotes again. Rabbit ears. Uh, there's nothing where you can actually literally put the figure inside the body. Doesn't work that way. It should work that way. I mean, they could have put like, even like right here, there's this seam. This should have just opened up. There should have been like a little latch on the back. Open that up. Didn't have to make necessarily that noise. And you could have fit Penny Parker. I mean, she is the size that could, in theory, fit inside the shell carcass of the SPDR. And unfortunately, she can't. You're very passionate about talking about a, talking about a Spider-Man toy. I am. Gosh darn it, I am. So really, that is the one detriment to this figure. It looks neat. You know, it's got cool colors. It's got traditional Spider-Man colors with the red, the blue. It's even got like a little spider logo in the middle there. But what it needs to do, what it so requires to the ability to be able to do, it simply can't do. Suiting up, I say no. It should, but unfortunately it does nothing. It looks good, but you know what? To call it a suit of armor, it's not a suit of armor. It is a really neat looking toy that serves absolutely no purpose, including little Penny Parker, who can't go inside. Oh, this has made me a sad, sad reviewer. Retrieving my composure for final looks here. I like the look of SPDR. It's got a neat design to it. It looks like a spider, especially for the fact that it's got the multiple eyes on its head. It's got some good coloring. Most of it is molded plastic. There doesn't seem to be like there's a whole lot of paint on it, but it is at least a very colorful toy that has posability. Penny is also something that, surprisingly to find, she did have posability in the head and the arms. But then when you get to the meat and the potatoes of it all, and here's where composure gets thrown out the door again. If you're advertising on the back of the package that she suits up and there's nothing on the actual armor that can open up to fit small penny inside, then I look at this toy and I think, why did they have to even release it? Sure, if it was actually in the movie, which I have not yet seen the movie, maybe people, kids specifically, or adults, we can't rule out the adults after all, anybody who has seen the movie and thinks, wow, the SPDR is really neat. I want to pick up a toy of that. Bingo. You've got it right here. And the stores will have it readily available, readily stocked. You can pick this up whenever you want. But unfortunately, it doesn't have much the playability. If you saw how cool it was probably in the movie where she's suiting up inside the armor mech suit and then you want to recreate that with the toy the toy is going to let you down and it's going to break your heart it's a colorful looking toy and at least for the very least you get a small penny parker with it but i really wish that it could have opened up and fit the smaller figure inside especially for the fact that it's advertised as suiting up don't worry i've regained my composure we're not going to go off on some wild tangent as we did in this whole video as a side note, I certainly want to thank viewer Bill for taking the time and sending this my way. Today's video, we were having a look at the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This was Penny Parker with the SPDR. Let me know down below what you guys think of the figure. Certainly more videos will be coming your way, guys, as we have a look at some other Spider-Man goodies and other stuff as well. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. That will guarantee you that when new videos are coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.